Hello my dear students, I hope all of you are totally fit and fine. Today after a short break we are going to meet again. So I hope you just like me, you also are super excited to attend today's live session. Right? Though it is an online class but okay we will be meeting each other. So that's the exciting part no? And uh, I hope you remember before we have your examination. Uh, there was a constant question from your end that this will not be discussed the first chapter that is leaving the valley. Today we are going to discuss that first chapter. Okay, leaving the valley which is written by Malala Yusufzai. Now this particular name Malala Yusufzai maybe some of you already know a lot of things about this particular personality. Maybe some of you know a little bit, maybe some of you have just heard her name and maybe some of you simply have never heard her name. Not a problem, today we will be having a detailed discussion in this video class and again in the live class your doubts will be clarified and after that your ideas will be clear I guess. Okay, I will be trying to do that. So leaving the valley and as I have always suggested you before celebrating or before enjoying a creation we should always pay respect to the creator. Now this literary piece is a piece of creation, it's a creation by someone and who is that someone? She is none other than Malala Yusufzai. Now we will learn a little bit about that particular person. Malala Yusufzai was born in 1997 in Mingora in the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province of Pakistan, a place situated in Pakistan. She was inspired by her father who was an educational activist to take up the cause for girls. So her father also was an educational activist. activist. His activities center around the especially the educational rights of women and girls and obviously his her father was doing all those things so she was inspired by her father she has been inspired by her father since her childhood so in her brain in her mind those principles were there constantly they were getting nourished they were growing so what was the result at an early age, she began speaking about the right to education for girls, bringing her into the limelight. She also, like her father, being inspired by her father's principles, started to fight for, started to raise voice for the educational rights of women and girls. And gradually she came into the limelight, means people come to know about her gradually. Okay. In 2012, Malala was attacked but she was not deterred from her path. So, whenever you are doing a right thing for, uh, I mean for your society, maybe sometimes you face certain obstacles, major obstacles and like that, Malala was attacked. Okay. But that attack could not deter her from walking on the right path, walking on the right track. She was not like that, that okay today I am attacked so I will not be speaking for whatever I was speaking for. She continued to do whatever she was doing because she knew she was fighting for the right cause, she was fighting for a noble cause so she would not stop. She knew that, knew that so that attack could not do anything. Okay. Today she is internationally recognized as an advocate for the education of women. In, in this day, on this day, she is known to the whole world for her contribution in uh, the educational rights of women and girls. So this much I guess will be enough for you to know but uh, I have always encouraged you to know uh, I mean to gather knowledge from wherever you can. So if you want to use some other sources, if you want to 
know more than this about this particular personality you are always uh, welcome you are always uh, encouraged and never forget to share your knowledge with me with your friends in that way we will be uh, helping each other to enrich our knowledge okay now let's start discussing the chapter but before that you can see that something has been mentioned here and there is a clear instruction that given below is a quote by malala yusufzai what does the quote say unscramble the words and find out so they have given a quote but not directly you have to unscramble the letters you have to unscramble the words you have to rearrange the letters to understand the words and then you will get the quote by malala yusufzai so i am not going to provide the quotation we will be discussing it in the live class you just give it a try try to unscramble the words i'm sure you will be able to do that even if you can't no problem we will be discussing it in the live class just let me check whether the video is getting recorded or not otherwise you know all the effort will be uh, wasted okay no luckily till now it is uh, okay in the uh, sometimes i will go and check whether the video is being recorded or not okay malala yusuf zai acha leaving the valley valley the particular word i hope you know the meaning the word valley means the area in between two hills of course a beautiful area you can imagine you can assume maybe you have seen a valley is uh, always good so leaving the valley not a very happy note now we don't know who is leaving who are leaving why are they leaving or why is he or she leaving we know nothing to know about all these things we have to go to the text my name let's start okay malala yusufzai is an activist of some information again has been uh, given about the writer and uh, we need to know those things malala yusufzai is an activist for the education of girls and women we have already discussed She began her activism in her native Swat Valley in the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Northwest Pakistan, where the local Taliban at times did not allow girls to attend school. So what happened? Where Malala was born in her native? Try to memorize, not try, just memorize the spellings, memorize the name of the places. Okay, those are really really important, especially the spellings. Be careful with the spellings. All right, you cannot change the spellings. So Malala, where she was born, what happened? Once, what happened? The Taliban, they came and they started to impose their decision, impose their rules on the common people. Okay, and one of their decisions uh, was that girls cannot attend school. Women do not have any right to education. It was their rule. They are not supposed to be educated. Is it a good rule? You think? No way. So they uh, did not allow girls to attend school. In 2009, when Malala was 12 years old, the growing violence in her region forced her family to flee. So from such a decision, you can assume what type of rulers they were what type of people they were they could only create violence they could not do anything good okay they were conservative minded people so they could create violence on and that violence was growing day by day it 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 grew to such an extent that this particular girl malala along with her family had to go had to flee from their own native land leaving their house and everything behind can you imagine suppose today for someone else because someone else is creating nuisance i have to leave my own house where i am uh, where i was born where i have been growing up i have to leave all these things behind can you imagine how pathetic it is just try to imagine you will feel what condition they, what type of condition what type of situation they were going through okay 
so they, their family had to flee uh, in this extract in this particular story from her uh, malala describes this experience so malala herself describes this experience of her own life through this story now wait suppose i am writing a story where i am describing the accounts of my own life that story will be called an autobiography when a person is writing about his or her own life in a story that is an autobiography and definitely the writer is a part of that story that's why the autobiographies are actually known to be written in first person narrative point of view what is first person narrative point of view when the writer is a part of the story so there you will find i we such words you will find because the writer is a part of story so i will be used we will be used such words you will get okay so this is an autobiographical narrative and it is written in first person narrative point of view now you will start reading the story i hope all of you are having your books so just open your book page number 1515 Living our home felt like having my heart ripped out. So they were leaving their home. I have already said we have already read, and you, I have already described. I have already suggested you try to feel, try to imagine how it feels to leave all the things behind where you have grown up. Okay, as if someone is taking your heart out of your body. Okay. So the similar kind of feeling Malala was having. I stood on our roof, looking at the mountains, the snow-topped Mount Elam. So there was the Mount Elam, and the top of the mountain there was snow-clad. I looked at the trees all coming into leaf. Little leaves were there in the trees. Such a beautiful scenery. The fruit of our apricot tree might be eaten by someone else this year. Why? Because every year they used to eat those tasty apricot fruits, uh, which were there uh, on the in the trees, in their own trees. But this year maybe someone else uh, would eat them. Why? Because they were leaving. They would not get the chance to uh, eat those tasty fruits. Malala, Malala is being very emotional, which is very natural, right? She is actually recollecting the memories. She is actually recollecting the moments that she had has been enjoying till now. Okay, living in that sweet place, sweet native land. After that, she will be missing all those things, all these moments that. Have been described here will be missed by her after leaving that land. Swat. The uh, everything was silent. Pin drop silent. No chaos. Everything was silent. It may also indicate that as if there was no uh, sound of. I mean, I mean there was no joyous sound. But nature was also silent, as if nature was also sad. Nature knew how pathetic that moment was for that particular family. She was also silent. There was no sound from the river or the wind. Even the birds were not chirping, as if the nature was lamenting for that moment. I wanted to cry because I felt in my heart that I might never see my home again. She was not sure whether they would again get a chance to come back to that place where she was born, where she has been growing up. She was not sure whether she would be able to see that place again. She would be able to enjoy those moments again, which she has been imagining. Right. She was feeling pathetic. She wanted to cry. Okay, she was totally heartbroken. Trying to feel the condition, trying to feel the mental condition of the girl of her family. Everything I could not imagine happening had happened. All the unexpected things. Not only unexpected. Malala could not even imagine that these things would ever take place in their own life. But all those things were happening one after 
another. What were those? I thought my school would ne not close, and it had. I thought we would never leave Swat, and we were just about to. I thought Swat would be free of the Taliban one day, and we would rejoice. But now I realize that might not happen. So Malala is describing how she never could imagine that her school would be closed someday. But it happened. You remember when all the working places, all the work sectors, not only school, college, university, all the offices were shut down due to Corona. The, the, when the first wave of Corona came. Did we ever imagine that there would be a pandemic and we would be, lo we would be locked up? No, but it happened. We could never imagine such a situation. So, just for two years, I know it's a long time, but now I'm telling just for two years because here you can see this girl, whatever she is saying, she doesn't know whether throughout her own life, I mean throughout the remaining life, she would be enjoying those things again or not. Now the remaining life is much, I mean is a greater period than these two years. So how sad, how, uh, how, how pathetic condition we did face. Now you try to imagine a girl who doesn't know whether after leaving the valley she would ever be able to come to that place again, to see to that place again or to visit school again. How pathetic she was feeling. Okay, try to imagine. And she never expected that her school would, would be closed. It happened. He, she never expected, not he, sorry, see, she never expected that uh, she would one day, along with her family, uh, leave the valley where she was born. But they were about to leave the valley within a few hours or within a few days. Right, so all the things she could never imagine were happening. She expected that these Taliban people who were creating all these violence, they would be leaving our valley. But now she is realizing maybe they would never leave our valley. She is not sure whether that day would come when they would be extremely joyous again. They would be able to rejoice, to be extremely joyous again. She never knows. She is not sure about that. She was definitely feeling like crying. I started to cry and she could not control ultimately. She started to cry. It was as if everyone had been waiting for someone else to start. And, and, and as if all the people present there, they were waiting for someone else to... All of them wanted to cry but they could not. And as if they were... Each of them was waiting for someone else to start crying and after that they would start. It happens now that suppose there is a mishap in our house, God forbid, but if there is a mishap in our house, we all try to stay strong. We all try to stay strong. Otherwise the other family members they will be shattered. But when someone starts to cry, we can't control our emotions. The same thing happened. Everyone was trying to control their tear. But as if they were also waiting for someone else to start crying and then they all burst into tears. My cousin's wife, Honey, started weeping. After Malala, Honey started weeping. Then all of us were crying but my mother was very composed and courageous. The meanings are important, word meanings, just go through them, use a dictionary, that's a healthy habit. Practice that, okay? And some word meanings have been provided in your own book as well. So go through them. Those are very important. Without knowing the word meanings, you will not be able to understand the text properly. So everyone was trying, but Malala's mother, she was composed. She knew how to control her emotions in a particular situation. She did not break down. Do you think she was not in pain? Uh, what do you think? She was not in pain. Of course, she was facing the same pathetic situation. 
but she stayed strong someone had to stay strong and she was courageous as well i put all my books and notebooks in my school bag and then packed another bag of clothes so school bag notebooks those were really important for manana and clothes obviously one had to take i could not think straight means what she could not think anything properly she was unable to think of anything properly because she was so puzzled her mind was so disturbed she was not in the right state her emotions were not under control she was not in the right state to think anything properly again i have to check the video okay it's very recorded lucky okay um i took the trousers from one set and the top from another so i had a bag of things which didn't match her mind her brain wasn't working because she was not in the right mental state so she was taking trousers of one set tops of another set so they were not getting matched with each other but she did not care okay so a full bag a packed bag full of unmatched things just uh, i mean a puzzling kind of packing just uh, it was showcasing the state of her mind okay it was reflecting the state of her mind i didn't take any of my school awards or photos or personal belongings as we were traveling in someone else's car and there was little room room means space okay there was not a lot of space that uh, she could take anything that she wanted what do you think school awards photos and other personal belongings were not those important to her but she knew in that situation she could not afford to take all those things because they were going to somewhere else with the help of someone else's car and there was little space they had to manage somehow all the things and themselves in that little space they could not afford to take all the important things all the personal things um i have lost again yes my mother also said i must leave my school bag behind her mother also said please leave your school bag behind because there was no school i mean after leaving the valley there would be no school most probably so what would she do with that school bag right now right at that moment that was an extra thing though that was valuable but right at that moment that was an extra thing so her mother was also suggesting to leave the school bag behind please leave it behind we did not own anything expensive like a laptop or jewelry our only valuable items had been our tv a fridge and a washing machine very important we didn't lead a life of luxury we for students prefer to sit on floors rather than chairs why has uh, she mentioned it to uh, show us to show the readers to make the readers understand how much simple life they used to live they even did not like to sit on chairs they like to they prefer to they prefer sitting on the floor itself okay my father had registered living till the age so her father was like that that let's wait for the extreme moment when we would feel that there is no other way then only we would leave the place so he was waiting for that extreme moment he registered he stopped somehow the idea of leaving the valley but then some of my parents's friends had lost a relative in gunfire that relative was shot to death by taliban people now try to understand life is very much valuable than anything else seeing their grief made my mother determined to leave after that incident after that uh, mournful incident malala's mother decided to leave the place because they had everybody wants to leave at first then you do all other things you have to leave then you can do other things so malala's mother uh, determined to leave the place otherwise their life might be at risk at any moment she told my father you don't have to come but i am going and i will take the children to shamla shamla now is a place a district located in the swat district in pakistan that is surrounded by mountain 
lines you memorize okay she knew he could not let her go alone so that was a kind of an emotional blackmail the mother of malala she knew that if she says something like that the father will obviously fall oh, okay the family the, the father would not let the family go alone my mother had had enough of the gunfire and tension and called dr abzal and begged him to persuade my father to leave so ultimately her mother she called a person a known person dr abzal uh, abzal and uh, requested him to request her husband to leave the place okay he had his family uh, sorry he and his family were going so they offered us a lift we did not have a car we were lucky that our neighbors shafina and her family were also leaving so people were leaving one by one one after another family were was leaving and could fit some of us in their car while the rest would go with dr abzal so they were uh, offered lift by their neighbors and by dr abzal because they did not have a personal car so now i hope you understand that as they were offered lift by someone else so they had to manage themselves and their luggage within a very little space so they could not carry all the things that they wanted on 5th may 2009 we became idps the full form is internally displaced persons means see the meaning check the meaning people who are forced to flee their home but remain within the country's borders so they will be living in that country only in the border area but they will have to leave their own home okay now after that malala is saying it sounded like a disease why when someone was getting covid uh, uh, infected what did we do we quarantined him or okay that was the uh, medical advice so that he or she cannot infect others similarly here see they would be leaving they will be leaving in a place that is situated within that country only in the border area but they cannot live in their own house in their own land as if they are infected and as if they would infect other people so they are sent somewhere else but not far from the country within that country but uh, detached from other people in an isolated place that's why for malala to malala it seemed like a disease sounded like a disease this whole concept of idp okay my mother father grandmother and my cousin's wife and baby and my brothers were all squashed into the back of dr abzal's van along with his wife and children so in a single van of dr abzal so many people were there squashed into means there was not much space but they were somehow managing themselves there okay there were children in the laps of adults and smaller children in their laps can you imagine suppose i am an adult on my lap there is a child and on the lap of that child there was a smaller child i was luckier there were fewer people in shafina's car but i was devastated by the loss of my school bag so malala went by shafina's car there were fewer people i mean lesser than this particular car of dr abzal but Malala was devastated. She was uh, shattered mentally because she could not carry. She had to leave her school bag behind, full of notebooks and all those necessary things. I hope from this statement you can understand how much valuable school and school books these things were for Malala. Safina's father put his foot on the pedal, and away we drove out of the small world of our street, means that Swat Valley, home and school, and into the unknown. And they were going somewhere that was unknown to them. 
We did not know if we would ever see our town again. Again the same thing. They were not sure whether they would be able to come back to the same world, that little beautiful world of the named Swag Valley again or not. So here we end our discussion. Uh, not a bit with a very happy note but okay so and if this video is a little bit long then don't worry you just keep watching it take time and if you face any confusion feel free to ask me during the live class we will be meeting there okay and that quotation unravel that quotation